All right, so everybody so here, trade. the MCU has been around for like, I don't know, 16 years or something now, but before... Three, four hard. Right, <laughs> but before we had the Marvel Cinematic Universe, they were still making these these Marvel films, and Daniel, today, we're going right. to watch one of those. Yeah, oh, like, um, I really like, like the, the Sam Raimi Spider-Man trilogy kind of kind of started it all, really. That yeah. was kind of like the, the blueprint, the formula. We were talking about that last week. And that's a that great would make one, sense, but right? we're not watching that one. Uh, well, I guess I guess technically X Men was before that. Mm, Even so, the maybe. the first Fantastic Four was also, I think. Yeah, think on the, on we're the not watching either time. of those. Really? Um. Well, what was the first one? And you're call- you're getting there. Oh, it was. It, well, it was Blade, right? Because that wasn't even two thousands. That was in the nineties, right? right? So right, not that one. To, I mean, Wesley Snipes. It's a classic. He this those is cool actually tattoos. Uh, this is actually a movie directed, not directed, but produced by uh, esteemed filmmaker by George Wesley Lucas. Snipes. Oh, George Lucas. George Lucas. George Lucas. George Luke. That George Lucas. Yeah. Really, George Lucas. Yeah. Do you know what films George Lucas has made? <laughs> um, who made Star Wars? What's the main character in Star Wars? Howard the Duck. Luke kissed his sister. Howard the George, Duck. George George Lucas wants to kiss his sister. Howard the Duck. So we're watching Howard the Duck. <laughs> Uh, the first Marvel film ever created. And we're back. Uh, we're, we are back. We're, we're, Here we are. Howard the Duck, man. How are the ducks? They're all right. They're okay. I've seen better. I've um, Howarded more. You know what I'm saying? I haven't, um, but I okay. So we're Howard the Ducking. Where this? Yeah, this movie we're. Was... I mean, it had to. It had to be done. We're doing. It did have to be done. What we're at doing? Some point. You know what I'm saying? What like, are, what are we doing? What What were we calling this? This sweep? I think just pre MCU Marvel sweep. Right, but it's more than that. It's it's like it's pre 2000s even right cuz there's a different um, pre MCU Marvel suite there's yeah we got we got this. a lot um but this one right. like okay we last week we watched Captain America 1990 if you haven't listened to or seen that episode go check that one out this is a different animal yeah, well yeah From it's a me. duck <laughs> the <laughs> other one's the other one's a man wow. the other one's just some guy this one's a this one's a duck this one's a little guy and a duck. This He's inside for of a sure, duck. like without a doubt, undeniably had a much larger script or script had a much larger budget than yeah. Well, it was the uh, Captain America. You know, this was this was a, a Lucas brainchild and money child, right? But this is a real money movie attempt. For the... <sighs> yeah, no, I, I'd say I'd say it's it's a very very George Lucas movie, but. I'd say it was it was a film. It felt mm. and looked like a real movie. It followed the plot structure of a <laughs> yeah, sure. film. Sure. I like it hit it hit all the points in very weird ways. A lot of weird garbage nonsense in between. For a lot sure. of just like it I mean it was more than more than anything, it was an eighties movie, I think. Mm. I think it was it was heavily a product of its time, and also, I wish George Lucas <laughs> was dead. <laughs> no, it's, uh, it's, it's weird, because the pacing of this movie is very strange. Not necessarily bad, it's not good, it's just yeah. weird. This movie is paced very strangely, I guess, is the best way to it's, say it. It's very, it's, I mean, it's very, like like we said, like all these these 90s early late 80s early superhero movies they're they're quick they're quick to the jump they Very. they don't waste any time at the beginning but then <laughs> but then they waste then about they waste 45 minutes in that's where all we're getting of the that mid- wasting time we're going well, yeah, well, the to waste the whole middle of the movie they have to hook you at the beginning cuz mm. they're like okay it's we're we're already we're in we're entering the computer era 
attention spans are fading already. Like they they knew they had to had to start strong. Was that as so big of a concern in nineteen eighty? I don't know. I'm waffling, sure. bro. I don't. I don't For know. Sure but the not. point point is, they start. They start. I don't know if we can say strong, but they start interesting. They start in the shit of it, in the muck of it, mm. in the duck of it, mm. and then they don't really have anything else before they get to the. You know the climax. They're just kind of edging their way through the rest of the movie. Right, right, um, right, 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 right. Um, but a lo- I think it's fine good... with this one because there's, I mean, there's just it's it's a talking duck, you know. Right. So it's just even when it's boring, it's kind of fun because it's just like he's just he's, he's still just Howard duck. the Duck, regardless of what's happening. Right. He's he just is a and will be guy, Howard. The you duck. know. I don't know this this movie. I think. And we'll we'll kind of give uh, our our thoughts at the end of like should you should you not? Um, mm-hmm. This movie has kind of a history. It's it's um, it does it does it has a lot more of a history than I think either of us expected or knew about for sure. Well, I'm um, meant like like it kind of has it, it's talked to well, it's, death online. Sure, yeah, it's well, it's it's. It's a lot of things. It, I mean, it was the first, like we said, the first theatrical Marvel movie. Right, ever. And and it's also, it's just such such a strange way to start with, <laughs> yes. like, just with, with Howard the Duck in general is is a very, very weird start uh, out, out the gate. But it's also just even, and I don't, obviously I don't fucking, I don't know shit about Howard the Duck. I mean, he's a talking duck. He does quack foo. That's. That's all I got. So I don't know. Is that I don't a know comic how. Thing? Is Quack Fu a comic thing? I I don't know. I'm saying that from the the movie right. and the IMDb plot synopsis. Right. But so I don't I don't know. You know Howard the Duck lore. Right. But I know he was in the after credits of the Guardians of the Galaxy. I know he's then... been. Yeah, I mean, I think he's been in like some sort of role in like most of the Guardians movies. He's just like a little. Silly goofball. A he little was like CGI smoking a... duck. Just, yeah, I think he's he's like he's Chris Griffin in the new Guardians and Seth Green, right? It's Chris Griffin. Maybe. I don't know, dude. Well, Maybe. Seth Green's Chris Griffin, right? Right. That's, I'm, getting, I'm getting. I'm Howard getting. I'm getting at least duck. that. I'm pretty sure he's Howard the Duck. Maybe uh, I'm just saying that because he's like um. Red. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so. This is going well. as I, as going I was saying. Well. Um, this movie's fucking weird. <laughs> yes, is, is the, okay. the point I'm trying to get out within the context of H- Howard the Duck is obviously a fucking weird character. It's a talking duck, right? But this movie is. It's yes. It's no. Keep it's, going. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's it's not quite the same as like we we've said with. With Scooby Doo, the James Gunn first film and first Ninja Turtles film, uh, like we've said about those um, reference, <laughs> right? <laughs> um, <laughs> Are you doing okay? <laughs> Are you? Um, Are you getting through this? Are you getting through this conversation? What was I talking about? <laughs> okay, so, but this... yeah, where where it's that weird mix of of being. Adult film and also made for children. Right. But this one's much more extreme, almost on both ends. For sure. Where it's, yeah. I mean, at least at least on the adult end, because this, I don't know what the rating of this movie PG. is, but it's, it's really, yes. not even the 13, I mean, this 80s was for, PG this was, was this was pre-PG-13 yeah. existed, yeah. So PG was just PG-13. Well, but PG was anything between it G was, and yeah. R. It was, yeah. Right, right. But but so and part of, so I think the best way to compare the best like okay, it's a Marvel movie, like something to compare it to modern day. The closest thing I could think about is if you were around in 2014 before the first Guardians of the Galaxy movie came out. 
You've got this. Yeah. It's it's a Marvel movie. It's a superhero movie, but it's about characters that no one has ever heard of. Nobody right. knows about them. One of it's them's a superhero a raccoon. movie, but it's weird. One of them's a tree. Yeah. Like, yeah. what is going on? And then that movie comes out, and James Gunn did a really good job. He made a really good movie. It's great, whatever. This movie is is much, much different because it's the same concept, right? Oh, here's this really strange, odd comic book story. We're going to turn it into a movie. But then this one sucked. So it's like – and I don't know – from what I can tell, I tried to do some research. I couldn't find any evidence of reshoots. But Daniel's right. Like it's this – Perfect example, because we talk about all the time, like a movie that's made for no one. This is right. Th- like this movie feels like it's made for small children. The dialogue feels like it's for small children. The action feels like it's for small children. I mean, it's a talking mm-hmm. duck, dude. It's, it's a, a talking, talking duck. duck. Right. Yeah. It's a talk. So like, sure, but then... if it was made for small children, I get it. The, apparently the Howard the Duck comic book is sort of like Deadpool, where it's more of like a mature. Where he's that, that's that's kind of what I would imagine. Like, I feel like it's it's like, you know, he looks like a silly little kid's character. But then he's like, ah, oh, he's he's uh, he's saying he's cursing and he's. He's uh, smoking cigars, like a, right? He's like he's like doing he's you know he's like a, he's like a Disney character, but oh, you wouldn't see that on the Disney Channel, right? You know he's like having sex with babes and stuff, you know? He's yes, like a, exactly. Just like a duck guy, right? Um, but but in this movie, duck, dude. in this movie they don't hit that for sure. But he, he's he's but this. They also do almost like they they try to they try because they have him working at a brothel and he's like looking at the 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 play boy the play duck right um in the first five minutes the, of the this duck movie titties. we see two there different sets two of pairs duck of, of duck dress yeah and not they weren't being cooked was, right they were on ducks which is strange to say the least it's strange you know? to put in a movie period yeah, much definitely. stranger to put in Howard the Duck. I see, kind of. Yeah, I feel like that. Like that almost makes sense if this movie didn't feel like it was for children, right? What I think it might be, if anything, as opposed to just like, oh, they reshot, they reshot it to make it more adult. No, I don't or think more... it was reshoots. I think it's just George Lucas is a crazy man right george lucas is a crackhead george lucas doesn't right. know how to make a movie it almost feels right. like the kind of thing where they made this and they were like oh we're gonna make this super edgy adult comedy about a talking duck right mm-hmm. it's this edgy talking but then, but duck then george comedy. lucas is like a child maybe and also on top of george lucas being a child it's all it's it's almost like the studio's like hey i love your idea Tone down the adult stuff a right. little bit. Maybe even in the script phase. I don't Could know. Be, yeah. But but definitely there was something going on where they were like, all right, tone down this duck stuff. No, not the duck stuff. Tone down the adult stuff. Tone down, tone down the tone down the fuck. Tone up the duck. You know, like that's. I mean, that's what's up. That's what's real. And I get why they'd say that, but I think. I don't know. Like, I don't like George Lucas. Like, I like some of the Lucas songs, but what the fuck does he know about a talking duck? What does he know about ducks, you know? know? I like some of the Lucas movies, but what the fuck you know about a duck? So, Howard the Duck, Um, let's let's jump into the plot here. I guess, yeah, let's let's break it down. So, it starts on Duck. Duck World, we learn, is the name of this. Which is such a stupid... Um, Which is, it's dumb, it's comic book. Washing Duck DC. Is that? Do they say that? It's on his driver's license, I think. Mm. That's yeah. It's very, very dumb, very stupid. The United um, so States he's... of some duck pun, but I didn't get the pun. Yeah, so. it's it's going going through just like showing various duck world things. He's like going through duck TV channels, showing duck movie posters. Uh, there's like a, a Raiders one that says Breeders, and it's like a duck. I don't. It's Breeders don't of the really... Lost Stork. Right, they're breeding that, storks because because like storks babies, you know, maybe they bring the baby. Maybe that's where that's where babies come from. I don't know if you know this, but babies come from uh, when a man loves a woman, the stork can sense that love and it brings them a baby. I thought it was sex. Um, 
what is that? <laughs> you know. <laughs> Man, we, <laughs> we just watched Howard the Duck. What the <laughs> fuck is sex, bro? <laughs> We're here recording a podcast uh, talking about Howard the Duck, man. <laughs> there oh, brother, is no, this is this, this a semi-pro film show. We ain't got no sex here. What the fuck you talking about, man? True, true, true. Um, So, yeah, he's on Duck World, showing all the duck things, looking at a Play Duck um, porno magazine. Um, Then... A big a- alien quantum space laser oh, the, sucks the duck, him. The duck planet is literally called Duck World. Howard it's, the yeah, duck, duck lives World. on Duck World. One word. Howard his his full name we learned it Howard T Duck, presumably T for the. Right. He is Howard the Duck. Um, point is he's it's re- he's a really goddamn stupid character. Like he's he's j- like he's just he's, he's so goddamn dumb. <laughs> it's one of those <laughs> like. It's almost one of those like uh, ninja turtle esque things. Where right. It's like, right. This is a really stupid concept, mm-hmm. and the the difference is with the ninja turtles, it wound up working. Yeah. Here it doesn't. <laughs> right. Somebody was, and I'm really sure maybe high like on cocaine. Maybe maybe some some nerd would could tell me like oh you know howard the duck comics are actually like they're really cool and they're interesting actually, and they no, do. actually like you don't get it howard the and, duck is really smart and like i could i could maybe believe that like i could i could believe that <laughs> you don't have the, uh, that, don't that, have that the howard the duck you don't have the brain capacity <laughs> to understand howard the duck um no actually you you literally couldn't you don't have the iq to comprehend the the intricacies of howard the duck um howard be ducking though bro <laughs> yeah uh and howard do be ducking so he gets sucked and out of his chair gooning. he gets sucked off in his chair he is you said that in the in the while we were watching when he pulled out the playbill <laughs> or play right duck. he was gooning he was edging <laughs> he was he was edge maxing and that's um, what sent him to planet earth some would say also yeah. known as man world which they don't say that, but Arguably. that would be the implication. Yeah, but he gets he gets sucked out of so he gets like yeah, sucked he does, through. Bro. He gets, yes, he does. He gets sucked. Um, he gets sucked and blown. Um, so he's he's getting like sucked through his his duck <laughs> apartment building. <laughs> this is when we see uh the duck titty paired number two of um, we have three minutes of duck into this bre- duck, duck breasts no cooking. Yeah, this this is yeah this is like like four minutes in he's getting getting sucked to another dimension or planet at least um and then so yeah he gets sucked into space it's great very solid visuals ilm uh, of course um looks good he's getting sucked through space then he goes through space and then he's getting getting sucked through another wormhole to earth uh, we see his duck planet. It looks like an egg. It That's is funny egg shaped. He's That's a duck. Kind of quirky because he's a duck. It would have been fu- it would have been funnier if they just called the planet like egg, I, or like some other word I for for with, egg with like, dearth. That's what I would have called it, duck earth. That's <laughs> fucking stupid and dumb, and I hate you. But I get it. Um, I personally would have gone with egg because it looks like an egg. Mm. He um, also uh, Howard the duck also doesn't know the term Cleveland. Even though they probably have right. some duck yeah, equivalent he says Cleveland. to Cleveland. It'd be, nah, because it could only be in Ohio. Yeah. <laughs> Literally only in Ohio. I thought we weren't doing uh, that. <laughs> I, we weren't that. <laughs> I tried, I tried. Uh, uh, but I mean, it's true. It could only so, happen. So yeah, literally. This, this, movie, this movie could only happen in Ohio. Oh, if we're being literally real. only in Ohio. <laughs> like, like realistically, where else? Um, But no, he, <sighs> so stupid. So he, he Howard does. the Duck gets so gritty. <laughs> he gets sucked through this wormhole through space into, and there's a voiceover too, a voiceover narration, and it's like in the beginning What's there that? was, right? Howard yeah, the he Duck. Gets, he gets he gets sucked into a prism that turns into the title card. It's yeah, the obelisk from dumb. from 2001. He gets sucked into the 2001 obelisk and then falls into Cleveland. Yeah, and, and he, he turns into he turns into a baby. He cl- turns into Cleveland Brown. Right, he turns into Ohio. From family Guy. He turns into Ohio. 
Oh, uh, you know, like the Japanese um, thing, like they say, like Ohio, like it's like means like what up or something. <laughs> I don't know. I don't speak Japanese. But... <laughs> I don't. Yeah, I'm not familiar. I watch when I, if I watch like anime, it's like uh, like dubbed. I don't. I don't do that. Yeah, we're gonna be watching some dubbed you know? movies, maybe for our next week. But that's a little right. Tease. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, just a little, just a little edge, you know. Just a little Easter egg. Get it? I don't, I don't. I don't get it. Egg. His planet was shaped like an egg. Um. <laughs> uh, so where are we? In the, so he gets sucked he, to Earth. He's just now landed him in and Ohio. his and his okay. chair, I guess, or he just landed in a he different landed chair. In a different chair. Yeah. Um. So he lands in a chair in an alley. Gets harassed by Which, some some weird eighties chair punk goons. Maybe. It, was his chair? I, I wasn't really paying enough attention. It could have been. That would be. Um, yeah. I don't. I. I really don't. I don't <laughs> think it matters. I don't think. I don't think that shit fucking matters. But he get. He's the the eighties eighties punk goons are harassing him in the alleyway. He well, they're runs harassing into Beverly. No, I think that's later. I think because I think this is when Beverly's performing in like the uh, shitty dive bar. She got the shitty oh, manager. Oh yeah, no, so he, everybody is he, harassing him. Yeah, like yeah. He's so he run, he runs into the the dive bar concert, and they're all like, "Oh, get this fucking freak out!" Oh no, they think he's a kid, so they kick him out because right. it's a bar. That's a theme. They're like, get the out of here, kid. People thinking how well, yeah, I mean, is looks a kid like in a costume. Kid. He, he says he's wearing like he's like he's got to get kids clothing, you know. Like oh, a, this is a perfect a time duck. to talk about the fact that Howard the Duck looks just like Macaulay Culkin. He does. He looks like which yeah. I meant to now, Google. You said that at the beginning. I didn't see it, but how I'm thinking like when, like when did Macaulay Culkin exist? You know, Macaulay Culkin would have been around at this point. Like I'm, I, I just yeah, I don't I'm know. Like I'm trying it's... to think like intentional that they made this duck I can't animatronic imagine it was i feel like maybe macaulay culkin just kind of looks like a duck like We're, a humanoid duck a maybe. little bit have the ai have the ai make that jamie <laughs> jamie have a uh, vista print pull that up <laughs> i can't find um, anything I'll... no I, I have to imagine you won't find anything <laughs> but that would be interesting uh, I found one tweet just saying Howard the Duck looks not, like Macaulay Culkin. So you're not the only one, at least. Right. That's, yeah, that's something. All right, you keep talking about the plot. Let's see what this fucking the, dog yeah, barking. There, there's, there's a few ooh, different ooh. examples online of people being like, ah, oh, Howard the Duck looks like Macaulay Culkin. It's really strange, and, and just go, and it's more when his face is moving. So watch a few clips from this movie, maybe, and you can kind of see... The, the Macaulay Culkin influence, but he definitely does look just like Macaulay Culkin. So there's this, in the plot, back to the plot, there's this woman named Beverly, and she's performing, right? She's in a band. She's a singer. Howard the Duck was a singer. We see he was in a band called Howard and the Ducks or something. And so he's on Earth. This lady's performing. Howard's being chased around. It's like a, a, a nice little classic chase around montage kind of thing. Like he's running around, running about, doing his own thing. You know what I'm saying? Um, and he's being just harassed. So he decides to hide in this trash can a la Oscar the Grouch. So he climbs in the trash can and he goes to take a nap. And he's there. He goes to sleep. And he's there. It's peaceful for a while until – um, out of the, out of the, uh, the, the, the mu music place where they're playing the music, where they're singing the songs, where they're sing-songing, as it were, um, comes the lady, comes Beverly, and she's being harassed by some goons who are trying to assault this woman, so she's being gooned, she's being harassed, and Howard the Duck beats them up, which is kind of like the beginning of of their relationship. Howard the Duck beats up these goons. The goons get beaded. After that, after the beating of said goons, they kind of kick off this friendship. They start talking a little bit. She's a little freaked out. She, Howard says, where am I? And she says, oh, you're in Cleveland. And then once that's determined, determined Howard the Duck goes back home with this woman. And this is when me and Daniel kind of... 
me me and Daniel started to realize at this point that something funky was happening between Beverly so, and Howard the Duck. Yeah, well, she we kind just of invited him back point, to his apartment. What point are we at? She's, yeah, okay. So we we we'd assumed because it's like okay, woman, she's being a character in this. It's an eighties movie romantic. It wasn't sex just interest. that. It was the, the. That's what it was for me. The the the, the, the it was the, yeah, the way she, they shot they, the two of were, them. Yeah, the music. It was like a love ballad, and we'll talk yeah, about the music yeah. in this movie in a little bit. But it was like this love ballad that was playing that was really strange. Right. I How never the duck felt. A condom, I never you know. felt comfortable. And then yes, yeah, so she goes through his wallet after he goes to bed. And she's looking at his ID. And then she finds a condom, and she's like, "Oh, it's a little you, little duck little duck condom." Dog, and it, it, play, it plays dog. like it's like it's like playing the score, which is already kind of like a like sort of romantic, just like lilting little like like the the whole score in this movie is just weird. It's nothing. It's it's very generic. odd. It's very odd. And it's, it's very strange. It doesn't. It never really fits. Um, but but at this point, it kind of does. And then when she pulls out the condom, it plays like that. Like. Like that, like, wah, 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 wah. Yes, like the, it does. I like, I've been that. really trying. Uh, which is uh, strange. It's, this whole movie's fucking strange. It's so weird. It's such a weird movie. I don't. I don't know. Um, it makes me uncomfortable. Anytime the two of them. Yeah. And you so missed, there's the weird. There's the whole the, the credit scene of this, which is them kissing. Oh, oh, yeah. Well, they show that in shadow form. Right. The, well, this is the, the like full. It fades to right, black right as on, their mouths touch. Full on touch, smooch. Full on Marky it's, Mark. It's Marky Mark the ape girl. Sure. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. But anyway, so they're back in the apartment. Right. Is this the condom scene? Is this one they? Uh, I mean, yeah, the condom. Finds, the he like condom passes scene. out. Yeah, and he the... goes to sleep, and she searches through his wallet. Right. Which is weird, but I get it. I'd do the same. Right. Talking duck shows up. He's got a wallet, you know. <laughs> right. The the duck has a wallet. You gotta see what if he's got any cash. He's got a duck. He's got a duck dollar bill. A he's got duck a duck bill. bill. Yeah. Um. It's got George Duck Kington. George A. Duck Marrow. Okay. Um, then uh, what happens? Oh, what happens? What happens? What happens? Have we gotten, oh, to, yes. so, we gotten to the villain yet? No, 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 no. So Howard, <laughs> they wake up the next morning, and, and Howard basically wants to get back home. That's his plot. How do I get back home? Right, so right. Beverly puts Howard in a trash bag and takes him Right, takes to... him to the science place yes it's it's like a weird science museum i guess but scientists uh, yeah it's it it's feels a science like, place. it's a history museum though it's a science place it's it's whatever it is they do it's science, a science there it's yeah and so they go in and, and she starts that they start meeting with a scientist and he's th the most obnoxious person ever to walk the he, he sucks of. he's really annoying some stupid dork with glasses it's just like it's meant to be like the funny, quirky character, but he's just. But I hate him. He's he's annoying. He sucks. Yeah. He's the worst. Um, even Howard the Duck hates him. Like it's it's meant to be the point that he's like annoying, but like the funny kind of annoying. But he's just annoying. Yeah, but I hate him. Uh, yeah, no, he sucks. But it does make it fun when Howard the Duck just just Howard T Duck just tells him <laughs> to like fuck off and shit. Oh yeah, no, he just keeps talking uh, wet on this man. For minutes. Yeah. Like for minutes. Nah, he's just <laughs> he's just wet talking to this boy. And, and and so they storm out. Turns out he's not even a scientist, he's a janitor. Right, right. Um so and they, who how how did how did how did annoying guy know like Beverly what was there? I d I don't think they like, ever they just, explained it. It was just they just she knew of the science place and he just I, I know, I think they were it. friends. Oh no, I think I think I feel like I feel like he was just random guy because because they just like they walked into his office and then he like he ran out screaming, went to tell like the the comical board of executives sitting around a table. And then well, he's like, which, oh, never mind. Come to find out the reason which, that that yeah. scene happened was to foreshadow the fact that he wasn't a scientist. Right. Like right. they're trying to be like, oh, I've got this discovery. Oh, wait, I'm not a science man. I'm a janitor. I'm a janitor. I'm. So this movie sucks. Annoying. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, and then it's the worst scene in the movie. 
where Howard and and Beverly it it it's the most pointless. Oh, this is the they could have shaved twenty minutes off the runtime without having this scene happen, and the movie would have been better for it. Yeah, Beverly and Howard get into some fight, and it's pointless. It's it's like the whole. It's just that it's, it's the, that generic it's the, movie. The sad. Thing. The the yeah. The the character is is sad for a moment and has to have some realization that makes them happy again, and then. Right. So the Howard, Howard yells at Beverly and he's like, oh, I got to get a job now. I'm a duck. Got to get a job. So he goes to the unemployment office right. he works. and then gets berated by this worker at the yeah, unemployment then office. Yeah, then was the, yeah. This, yeah, woman woman working at the unemployment office doesn't seem to have a problem. Well, she has a problem with the fact that he's a duck, but doesn't see it as strange, just sees it as another reason to to berate and insult him. Um, but then she gets him a job, uh, at like a strip club kind of, kind of brothel-ish place, uh, which doesn't last long. He gets, gets kicked out for being a duck or whatever. Um. It's for sure a brothel because you see people, I mean, you see people making love, like straight right. up. And so it it's got to be more than just like a strip it's, club. It's yeah. I don't know. It's it's, it's weird. A very, it's a very very progressive strip club, at the very least. It's, it's you know. The same, they did the same thing in Deadpool. This movie's like Deadpool. This movie's Deadpool. Yeah. It's as good as Deadpool. Kind of. Some would say. That's what we need. We need Not the many. Deadpool 1986 Howard the Duck crossover. That's what we need. That's what cinema needs. That's what we need to save the MCU. Who's we? You speaking French? That's what we need to save the the Marvel Cinematic Universe is the Deadpool Howard right. Duck 1986 crossover. True. You think he'll be in Deadpool 3? No. I think so. I don't think Howard the Duck will ever be a main character in film again. Well, I don't think he'll be a main character. I think he'll be in Deadpool 3, though. Maybe. I think he'll, he'll look exactly like the... This one, the eighties one. Ooh, I think maybe. He'll, just, he'll just show up and he'll just say "quack foo," and then and then, fucking, and then he'll get like shot in the head and yeah. explode. And then just Deadpool like a bunch will look feathers. at him and say, "Oh, kid, why don't you go back and be home alone?" In like the other right. like, Ryan, Ryan Reynolds voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Why don't you go back to Duck World? Oh wait, that's actually what it's called. <laughs> oh, you're from Duck World. Why don't you go back to Egg World? <laughs> <laughs> why don't you go back in the egg, duck man? Why don't you go hop <laughs> back in? Why don't you go eat some eggs, duck boy? That's what he'll say. That's, and then the audience will just erupt in laughter. Far. Right. <laughs> and then Deadpool walks in. And so he pushes his boss into a vat uh, of poop. Right, yeah. There's a whole little little silly, like, three stooges. He's, like, little little thing. He's shitting and farting all over the place. It's a vat of poop. He pushes him into a vat of poop. Get it? <laughs> Uh, which once again it's like okay adult setting adult movie ha 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 this is made for adults poop. oh let's push the guy into a vat of poop it's right. like it's such a weird this movie's so weird tonally i, I, I kind of hate it weird. i liked it when we yeah. finished it and now talking about it i hate it it's it, it's weird it's no i get it it's this isn't a movie you that you can talk there. about you can just stop <laughs> yeah this, is, this isn't a movie um so the no boss but like is this is, it's not yeah he's in a vat of poop and he the duck is fired he's kicked out into the street in the alleyway then he's now he he's quits, homeless right he's not fired he does quits he, does he quit i don't know says, I, and one like, more I just, thing poop boy i zoned I, out I, yeah yeah I, and whatever. this is where the movie begins to just be the worst for the next like 30 minutes and then it picks up right actually no this, is, this part's not bad I don't know what happens next other than him being homeless. <laughs> uh, what, he goes uh, back to Beverly at this point, and that's when he fires her this when it gets weird? And... Yes, this is where oh, things get very Oh, okay, yes, yeah. No, he, 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 he bitch makes the manager because he it's, – it's like another, another one of her shows at the shitty, dingy dive bar. Manager is like talking to the scummy manager friends. He's like, ah, yeah, this stupid, this stupid bimbo. She, she's just good for making me money, and I'm not giving her any of it because I'm a, I'm a sleazeball '80s manager, and I just take advantage of women. Yeah. And then Howard the Duck walks out. He's like, hey, don't talk about her that way. That's not cool. And then they're like, ah, <laughs> you're just a fucking duck. What are you gonna do? 
and he does quack foo and he beats them up and then they play the weird adventure Indiana Jones rip off fight music that's not not like Indiana Jones fight music rip off it's just Indiana Jones music that they yeah, consistently we, play in their fight really, scenes. It's, really it's, it's talked it's about weird. the score of this movie. No, we've mentioned it a bit, but it's it's we just it's just weird. Score, there's not much is, it, it really there's not much to like talk about. Is if the I thing. searched it's up like, score and found a YouTube playlist, right, and then used that to make a fan film worth of music, it's that. What? If 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 you gave me if you gave me Dalton Barrett and who eight nickels, I'm the oh. savage now. If you gave me eight nickels, oh. if you gave me eight nickels to make a film score, and I could rip off anything I wanted, this is what you'd get. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it sucks. Mm -hmm. It's horrible. It's not good in mm -hmm. any capacity, in any way, shape, or form. There's nothing good about it. There never has been anything good about it. There never will be anything good about it. It sucks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and that's this movie that's mm -hmm. howard the duck see you next week on Super yeah but Bro. it's pretty funny though because he's like a talking duck so right and sometimes he insults that's pretty people. cool yeah and he does so anyways he does quack foo he quack foos beats the up foo. the managers he yeah he quack foos the foos <laughs> he quack foos them quack foos um he's like hey fuck you you're not her manager anymore i'm her manager he and then he stabs this man through the earring later. Yeah, that was really cool. Um, it was like a it was like a shish kebab like poker thing. Yeah, yeah. I'm kind of because you know first the guy tries I think it to was stab an the ice duck. Pick. Probably an ice pick. Yeah, I don't think a shish kebab thing would be metal. <laughs> and not at a bar um, either. Well, no, it was like the um, the bar. No, wasn't it the weird? It was something the Cajun Cajun sushi place. No, that's later. I guess we're not there yet. Is that? Are we not at Cajun sushi? No, yet? they did mention shish kebabing Howard the Duck at the Cajun sushi place. No, because that was the same. No, I thought that was the same. No, because he used that same. We ice haven't cake, even he? met. We haven't even met the villain yet. Right, we haven't met the thing <laughs> from the thing. Yeah, who who is in the Cajun diner? <laughs> Right, right. Yeah, I guess that is. Mm. Well, I digress. Um, <laughs> stabs him through the earring. Bitch makes him right. not girl's manager anymore. Now her manager is a duck. All the, the <laughs> band girls, all the band girls love him. They're like, oh, Mr. Duck, Mr. Duck, you're so cool. You saved us from the sleazy manager. Thank you so much. You're my hero, Howard T. Duck. <laughs> And then, um, so they go back to the house and then bestiality. they have Yeah. Um, and it's horrible and uncomfortable. But not really. They don't really. It's maybe implied sex at the most. It's, it's, well, no, or they, no it's they don't not, have a it's chance. not even. Because it's not even yet. They would have, they would have fucked, but the thing from the thing comes in. Right. And he looks like the thing from the thing before he gets horribly disformed. Yeah. And I can't explain we always, why. Yeah. He just kind of, I think it's just. He looks like the act, he, the actor who plays the villain in this movie, and he's not the villain yet, so I guess spoilers. He looks right, like <laughs> he looks like the the version of the thing that like took over that one dude's head, and it's got like all the necks, and its neck is really long with the spider right, crab right. arms. I think that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, about. maybe. But anyway, so they get interrupted, <laughs> yeah. and and uh, it's he's this, this guy's a scientist, and the scientist boy and whatever. They all walk in, and they're like, "Hey, we tested." They're like, your "Oh feather. my god, this is." Right, they're like, "Hey, what's up? Oh my God, you're having sex with a duck. This is disgusting. Why are you doing this?" And then nobody and cares also, anymore. And also, this is this is an alien duck, by the way. Right. Um, That's when they start to up? explain like what's happened. So, they, so the yeah, humans we get we get exposition dump. It's science with people. I guess these science people because they have access to the laser yes. space thing. They were doing laser space testing shooting lasers quantum some bullshit into space they were trying to shoot to it somewhere to basically like matter oh let's trans star trek laser beam yeah, kind of thing well, like, they were like hey let's like, let's teleport a rock from space to earth and so they right, missed right. and shot how yeah, the duck hit instead duck world yeah it's not not just duck world they shot this duck right howard howard t duck in his 
in his living room. So they go to they, they they decide to go born. to the the lab so that they can send Howard T. Duck back. But when they get there, mm-hmm. an accident has happened, and we see a man horribly fried and burned and whatever. And and the the doctor right. is yeah. missing, and then he just pops up. He's not missing for very long. He just kind of pops up. Yeah, like, he like he he like he, there's like a big blast, and then he's not there, and then some stuff happens, and then he's back. But he's he's acting all funky, and he's like talking in third person and shit. He talks like this. He says, "I am the right. dark he's overlord a... of Earth." Right. It's just a weird little guy. Yeah, and um, now we're at Cajun Sushi Diner, which is a, such a strange. Yeah, yeah. So they, yeah, they, they. they what's their? What are they? Where are they bringing him? Because they well, just they like stop just, at Cajun they Sushi. They were just running. They were just running away from the police. Right. Yeah. Cops show up, and because there's like an ex- a terrorism explosion, at and the they're they're trying to place. arrest Howard T. Duck. Right. Right. He's a talking duck. He's a freak of nature. He's a monster. He should be put but down. They, they assume it's a costume. He's an abomination that should be killed. They assume it's like a, um, a terrorist costume type beat. The mark of the beast, the devil in human's clothing. Sure, sure. <laughs> Maybe. Um, uh, but no, so then so then they get to this diner as they're running away, and the guy has, over the course, he's gotten progressively more disgusting over the course of the drive. Yeah, he, he starts, he, he's getting a little more grotesque. He's like all sweaty, and then his skin starts getting a little gross. His hair gets more and more crazy and gross looking. His but it's all it's all it's all relatively into slow. A blue there's PNG glow that's there's put over. yeah, there's varying degrees of quality and effects on his I mean just typical eighties. Sometimes there, it looks really cool because it's it's industrial quality. light magic. Like it it's just... sure definitely. It's just there there's you can tell some is just like okay, stock eye Explosion. blast. Like, <laughs> thing yeah like Stock let's let's just put let's put a down. let's put a lens fl- i will say the explosion eyes were really cool and quirky that was that was different them doing it twice felt lazy but that was that was different it was just like his eyes just like exploded and then shot fire out it was right. it was stupid but it was a little different you know um but then yeah there's the ones that's just lens flares and then he shoots lightning or whatever it's like fucking 80s you know, he's Palpatine from Return of the Jedi. He's yeah, he's Palpatine. He's eighties wizard, alien monster guy. Um, so the so they're in the diner, sushi, Cajun, egg, broth taters, egg world. The, the, well, um, the gets served eggs, and he freaks out, and so he gets attacked. Right? The, yeah. The 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 special here um is breakfast. Just it's like a. a <laughs> country breakfast it's just like eggs and it's normal and grits diner and sausage food, and they're at sure a diner. but it's it's a place called cajun sushi which is already weird and surely well, some kind of strange like, it's comic called like reference. joe's diner or something but well yeah it's called that but then it's the, the like the thing under it says like Cajun sushi Correct. or something to that, and then everyone in there is just a white person yeah, wearing a, a yeah, just an some some definitely racist yeah. yeah. So they escape. The cops show up. Oh no, they don't. Do escape. the cops show up? No, it's yes, the, the goons. Cops show up here. Because this is where I thought. No, I thought they just fight the goons. They definitely fight the goons no, first. Is... There's yeah. Well, they fight the fight off the goons, and then uh, the thing from the thing. Kidnaps Beverly. He goes. And drives away in a yeah. Well, truck. first, first he go. He goes all thing mode. He starts like glowing and shooting full lasers. This is when he does the explosion eyes. Right. Then he he. Oh yeah, the goons were gonna chop up Howard like a little duck, uh, like a Christmas story. They chop off the duck's head. Right. Um. And they sing in the racist Asian accents. Um. And then. Uh, what's his name? Dark Overlord comes in and he blasts everyone. <laughs> the thing from the thing. The thing from the thing. Palpa thing. He saves the <laughs> duck, blasts the goons, but then kidnaps uh, Beverly, takes her to the hills, uh, but actually into a semi-truck and uh, crashes into a bunch of shit and almost hits Howard, but he 
goes underneath it and then uh and this is where is his name Philly? oh yeah this is What's this is name? this is when the cops show up phil philzy is what he Phil-Z. calls him we assume his name is just phil and that's just like an affectionate but lover's I'm name him Phil-Z. but philzy philzy is the only name we ever heard him called by maybe he's called phil at some other point we weren't paying the most attention no. uh well, i'm using the royal we meaning me philzy <laughs> Filzy also had just been had been arrested. He was yeah. This is when the cops show up. He's uh, he's gotten arrested here. for some reason. Oh yeah, we see where Howard's hiding, and it's the the chicken farm. It's it's like a little. It's a bunch what of little. It? What even is it? It's like a little yeah, a bunch of various like sculptures, or statues of chickens and birds and whatnot. And he's just in like a little chicken pose. And then he walks. And, he and then Filzy's like, like yeah. "Hey, get a rock! Get a rock! We gotta bust this window out." Right. Let's let's get a rock. And, so and he's then like, yeah, as <laughs> as I think we were having some little discourse as this is happening. You were like, "Like, wouldn't the door just be unlocked?" And I was like, "I mean, it's it's a cop car. They'd probably lock the doors to the back." Um, and then he he immediately Howard just opens the door and. And but, there's but what's really some funny stupid is, line in the as, thing. He's like, he's oh, maybe maybe we try the door. He's like, maybe, well, maybe we try the door first. Yeah. As fucking dipshit is climbing through, <laughs> climbing the, through the, window. the front window. Which, how did he get that? Don't cop cars have like not in this gate? movie? <laughs> well, clearly. <laughs> um, but which it's funny because that means I'm as smart as William Yuck. <laughs> What? Well, <laughs> William Yuck, the director of this film. Ah, uh, right, right. Um, uh, and George Lucas. And so then Howard and Filzy find a plane. <laughs> they, yeah, well, they find, like, a weird, like, go-kart, homemade, crop duster thing, thingamabob, a do, the doohickey mobile. <laughs> they find um, wings for Howard because he's evolution. <laughs> he's, yeah, oh, yeah, we also got a... A lore drop on Howard the Duck's Evolution. Duck World evolutionary chart, which every school which duck is, already knows this. So. Of, of course, um, which that was fun, I guess. Um, so they fly in the doohickey mobile, right? They do the to the the science. The ch- cops are chasing them. They escape in the. They do the hickey. Um, <laughs> Sure. sure. Uh, then they they fly all the way to the science building. They would more they they kind of just like bounce off the ground, really. Yeah, for, they don't get very for high alternating ever. points of yeah, yeah, semi flight, yeah, semi pro film show. Right, that's a reference to something. Yeah, I don't know what is that. It's probably some sucky podcast or something. Right. Um, so they get to the science lab, Dr. Thing, um, mm-hmm. he's, 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 he's looking like Beverly Einstein down. Yeah, he's going, at this he's point. Gotten she's, real gross. Yeah, Beverly's tied up in the hills. And it's, um, it's, it's classic George Lucas is a pervert. Too. Yeah, it's that too. Gross. So he's slimy now, and he's just Right, real he's slimy, he's looking. scabby, he's... Yeah. He just looks just generally greasy. They like, don't make them like this anymore. Right. Just straight dipped in oil, you yeah, know? Yeah, they, they literally spread Vaseline on his face and then hit yeah, roll on the yeah. camera. Yeah, yeah. And I miss that. That's like my favorite 80s effect right. <laughs> is how every creature just looked disgusting. Everyone was just gross and, and slimy and just yucky, you know? It was yeah, a different but then kind on of top yucky. of that, the special His... effects looked like that too. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Uh, uh, cocaine. Yeah. Um, right. well, you know, because everybody was doing cocaine in the eighties. Um, so yeah, Beverly's tied up on the table, and Howard and Phyllis come in and um untie her. They, oh, and no, then, you know, he no, blows they her don't. Up with a big they gun. blows. I don't think so. Blows, um, blows the thing up over with a big thing. Gun. Yeah, he gets there's the gun that's mounted on the the, the another new duckmobile. Right. He drives that, whips that around, um, shoots and blows up Doctor Thing. Then they they save Beverly. Um, and then it cuts to Doctor Thing, and, and then he's it's, no longer possessed, and he's like, "Oh, I don't feel the evil in me." It's like, "Oh, geez, what just what happened here?" The Dark Overlord must have escaped, and then. 
Right. That's when Howard the Duck goes, um, he's right behind me, isn't like, he? Uh, he guys, yeah. that might be a problem. And he turns around, and the coolest looking monster ever rips through. Oh, the floor. it's so it's so sick. I mean, the design itself is is fine. It's like a bug looking alien thing. It's, see, I think like the design is pretty cool it's, too. It's cool. It's cool. I liked the. It had like a really weird back that is like how they show. It was almost like it like. It like uncurled like a roly poly, yeah, uh, or well, like a, some sort like, of prawn. He had like teeth. It was all very up the top of his bridge line on his nose. Yeah, it was very, it was very like, uh, like sea creature looking. It was, yeah, it like was a critter. Mixed, it was a critter for sure. If you mixed the thing from the thing with a sea creature, yeah, like, like what's the like the angelfish where it's got that like fucked yeah, up jaw on the, yeah. but without the light, like uh, a gar, you know, a gar. Yeah, yeah. Um But yeah, it's, water, but so <laughs> right. <laughs> I mean, um wild. but anyways, it's fantastic stop motion it's, on it's, so it's apparently a technique on a, an already up. fantastic looking critter. It's a it's a a a some a process called go motion. And I don't really understand what go motion is, but it, go motion is basically just <laughs> nah, man, nah, man, forget the stop motion. We got that go motion now. We never stop, bro. Uh, so go motion is basically just stop motion, but they create parts. But they go with. They create parts for the middle to replicate uh, the look of motion blur. Mm, so like stop okay. motion, you move, bam, bam, I don't bam, understand bam, bam, that. But, but when you move something, it doesn't blur because it's stop motion, course, right? So in go just motion, one frame by frame. Instead of just like, oh, I'm gonna take this little puppet and move so they, his leg, I'm gonna replace so his they leg take a... with something that looks blurred. Right. And okay. So it replicates that look. So as it's it a moves. physical thing. That's gotcha. That's wild. That's way more intricate than i would have thought but also way more interesting than the rest of it's, howard the duck yeah so. and also, also yeah it's it's howard the duck is the weirdest part of well, of this, this that this movie, incredible this monster the movie that was is to pay for skywalker ranch right this yeah this was gonna get george lucas out of his his debt hole um, um, yeah, so go motion is a variation of stop motion anim animation which incorporates motion blur into each frame involving motion it was developed by Industrial Light and Magic and Phil Tippett. Makes sense, yeah. Um, I'm trying to see what movie. Yo, Philzy. Oh, okay. Um, the AT-AT walkers in Star Wars: Empire Strikes mm, Back okay. were go motion, okay, yeah. which makes sense. The dragon and dragon slayer, um, dinosaur sure, sure. was done. There was a sequence in Young mm, Sherlock right. Holmes. Howard the Duck, mm -hmm. The Golden Child, Emma. Batteries Not Included, Willow, okay, the Coneheads right. movie, all of the Indiana Jones installments, and okay. E.T. the Extraterrestrial all used Go Motion. With the release of Jurassic Park, Tippett Studios abandoned Go Motion and fully converted its team mm -hmm. and equipment to CG computer graphics. Word. So this is like the last predecessor. Gently bumping or flicking the puppet before taking the frame produces a slight blur. However, the care must be taken gotcha. that the puppet does not move too much that props or set pieces were not moved. But yeah, super interesting. Huh. Um, I also like that it was like, oh, we've got this really cool technology. And then it's like, oh, computers. Right. Oh, now we now we have CGI. Yeah. Now we can do this with buttons right i would love to see go motion used in a modern movie mm, i feel like you could do this so cool. well now yeah bring back go motion bring back go motion put petroleum jelly on a plate of glass right. in front of the camera lens then cleaning and reapplying it after each shot a time-consuming process but one which creates a blur around the model yeah i see why they don't do it <laughs> yeah. you know it sounds it like sense. the worst process but it looks great sounds and sounds Howard like hell. it looks it looks dope on this this dope looking freak monster bug thing and right howard the howard, duck. T. Duck. howard t duck but so they defeat him they shoot him with a big gun and then it cuts they, to yeah they use the same gun and blow him up and 
Yeah, and it cuts to like the the play, not yeah. the play. It's the concert from Beverly, and they're singing. Oh the Beverly, yeah, Beverly Howard song. the Duck is. Uh... Howard the Duck is a good manager. He made this shitty band that was performing in dive bars popular. Now they're performing at like a real concert venue. It's like a big ass concert crowd and fucking party time. Uh, Howard the Duck, Marty McFly's on stage. He does the right. And then this is when you um, said, "Hold on, I'll be right back in a minute." And then Howard and Beverly mm, started making out on camera. Right. Right. Yeah. So that was uncomfortable. Glad I missed that. So, so that just happened. So that's Howard the Duck. It's it's yeah. it's a weird George Lucas project that was meant to pay for Skywalker Ranch, not Skinwalker Ranch, but Skywalker and Ranch, didn't, and then it didn't, didn't pay for either of those. Actually. It didn't. So then George Lucas decided to sell a, a little project he had been working on to Steve Jobs called Pixar. So this movie is <laughs> right. single handedly responsible this for movie, Pixar. Yeah, this movie's failure. Um, and also, I guess too. Skywalker Ranch is the reason that Cars Two, the greatest film of all time, exists. There, there so, is. There's no Toy Story without sh- Howard the Duck. Shout out! What's this guy's name? Fucking William Hyuk. Shout out, right. William Hyuk. William Hyuk. My boy. Hyuk, Hyuk, Hyuk. So, like, Hyuk. this get it surrounds with duck. Golly, I hate this. The tone is is bad. <sighs> it does. It doesn't work. Actually, I take all of what I'm saying back. This movie okay, doesn't work in any capacity. Okay, no. it's not very good. No, it's no, it's a very good bad movie. It I was, works that's in that capacity. Getting. It doesn't work on any logical movie like. It doesn't work capacity. on any real capacity. It's not good in any in any real standard of of it ranking sucks. and judging a film by being a film by being enjoyable. It's it's nothing. It's but but to us to me when you put it to our to our standards of a a bad movie the 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 garbage that we consume both on and off camera it's just a fun little romp you know i mean it's a talking duck you I mean, know it's a talking dog, it's a talking dog. No, I, I will say uh, he's got of, that duck in him out of all the movies we've seen Maybe not all, but out of a lot of the movies we've seen, it this was, is this one of This was one favorites. of the more fun ones, yeah. This is one of I the better I feel like better, we're continually saying that, but also... I didn't say that last week. I feel like I did. Oh, um, I hated Captain America. This is... This is it's I better know, than Captain America. The Winter America. Soldier compared to Captain America 1990 sure like it's just yeah it's like really good that like this is this is the right. dark night yeah compared i get to i get, I get I, you know i get the yeah this is uh uh howard the duck mm. but the music's bad True. the duck looks like macaulay culkin it which sucks. is strange it's, it's that's fun there's the thing is we said this while watching it maybe also while recording it's really it's really slow and stupid and even when it's not slow it's still stupid it's always but stupid, it's but sometimes it's it's, it's slow. always but it's always fun right even if it's not the way it's supposed to be which it never is i don't know that i, I don't know it, that any enjoyment we got from this movie was the way this movie was meant to be enjoyed probably that made not any other sense. than like howard being howard I guess I guess his general character we did we did like he's he's just a fun guy he's I mean he's just a guy like he's just he's just the dude he's a talking duck he's a talking he's duck. just that he's that dude uh, you know he's got that duck in him I'm done are you done yeah cool um, uh, final thoughts or that's it nah, that's we it. We said just I'm like yeah we're cool done. this is it uh, duck it duck it next week are we are we doing 90s Fantastic Four next week. Uh, I guess so. Yeah. The what else was on the Blade? Yeah, unreleased. Yeah, just we'll, Blade we'll the, finish the it with Blade. We may as well. That would make because it's, you know, because it's Blade, last one of the era, right? Uh, we'll we'll see you guys next time. Uh, when we come back with Simular Primular. His name is Duck. First name Howard. <laughs>